This program is brought to you by OnSite Technologies. Welcome to Women of Mariposa. I'm your host, Marlena Heburn, and this is my special guest today, Linda Halverson Borchard. Thank you for having me, Marlena. I am excited to get this series started. Thank you. I'm so glad to have you as our first <laughs> guest of our, of our new show, Women of Mariposa. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Well, I run Bet's Gold Coin Sports Tavern. It's a family-friendly tavern downtown, and um, we try to keep entertaining people that come into town from all over the world, and uh, locals also, and keep our local residents working. Now, I've been to your restaurant, and when you say family-friendly, you really mean it, and you've taken that family-friendly to a whole new level from your typical chain kind of restaurants. How did you come up with that? with that philosophy and how did you develop the idea for the restaurant? That was more my husband's uh, doing uh, entertaining the children more which he does very well and all the time and um, I was more involved with just getting the everyday Mm -hmm. whatever (laughs) of it going and uh, he started developing this keeping people happy. Well, I want to keep people happy, but keeping people moving with their children so that they don't, the kids don't get bored. You know. There's really a relationship yes. between, between Bob and the staff and the patrons that, that makes it such a great place to eat. Yes, I agree. So um, what do you like best about being a business owner in town? In town. What I like best is giving back to our community because it's been really good to me and my family and um, that was the whole idea behind starting the restaurant. It was I was at a passage in my life and it was either retire or do something and I wasn't really ready to retire yet so just giving back to town. What do you think is the hardest part? Doing it every day. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Just, just doing it every day and having to continue on every day. It just the work starts new the next day. Every Every day is a new day and every day there were problems the day before that you have to deal with today and just things like that. Do you have do you have a role (coughs) model for? You know Jean Harris that owned the Sugar Pine Mm -hmm. years ago I worked for her and she had Mm -hmm. such a great philosophy with her help and uh, she was always about making sure when when you hire young people that you were teaching them not just how to work for her but how to work in life and how to get over hurdles and teaching them how to um, not get discouraged. Mm. So that, that was a big lesson for me. That's a really great relationship to have in mm-hmm. a business. Mm-hmm. So it makes the business more like a family. It does. It does, and we are. And the ones that don't join the family, so to speak, don't last. Mm-hmm. They wind up leaving. So. Right. If someone knew we're starting out as a business owner in town and, and wanted to pursue that as a, as a career pathway for themselves, what advice would you give them? To research it really well. Research it really well. Um, for me, being in the restaurant business, it's really what I've done for most of my life. And it kind of gets un- in your blood. So there's not much you can do about it. You always come back to it. But any business is going to be hard. It's, it's, mm. it's a small town. And you have to make sure there's a need mm-hmm. for that business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, right. I can see that because um, we see businesses come and fail right. a lot in town. Right. Right. And in your everyday life, what do you do to stay focused on your goals and on building success? Just um, the same thing. Just, you know, you see what works. If it doesn't, you change your tactic. And you just keep going every day. Just keep, keep doing it, all the time. You just, you just have to keep doing it. You know, it's perseverance. Yeah. A grit is a word that it's kind of a buzzword right now. Grit, and, and mm. we talk about people having grit as a as skill to be able to be successful. How would you describe grit? <laughs> ten, ten-ish words or so. A, dis, uh, a definition for grit. A definition. Just really, just continuing. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Just continuing to do it. Just don't give up. You know, just have to. W- different things hit you every day. Every day you're going to get discouraged about something, but every day you have to just not let it get you. Do you have any stories about that that you'd like to share? Any stories? 
Oh, there's a lot of stories. There's, there's good stories, you know, and there's bad stories, and there's people that you are close to that have, that aren't close to you anymore. There's people that you never thought you'd be close to that you are not close to now. Um, is there's a lot of there's a lot of advantages to owning your own business. I think, in a small town, I don't know if I'd want to do this in a large town, mm -hmm. but in a small town where you really have the support of the locals, mm -hmm. I think that's important. You, there's a lot of locals. You can feel that when you're in a restaurant. Yeah. You can feel that support from the it's locals. It's nice. You know, we don't do everything right every time, and there's going to be complaints, and, and those are the, you know, might serve 100 people a day and have one complaint, and that's the thing that everybody remembers mm. always. So, I think that's probably probably true in any, any uh, business or industry. Probably, is, yeah. Is, and not getting focused on that mm -hmm. one negative Trying not happened. to. Trying, trying to just right. brush that off is really difficult. Right. Because it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, it does yeah. happen. Do you have any favorite quotes? I don't. I, I thought of one earlier, and I, can, I, for the life of me, I cannot think of what it was. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Well, Linda, thank you for coming in today. It's thank great you. having you. Thanks for having me, and I can't wait to see the rest of the women on this series. Me either. <laughs> I think uh, we've got a great lineup coming up. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you.